And we're not dead yet from the studios of David and David. Is that it? That was awfully short. That's all I you get. I wasn't prepared. That's all you get I tonight. I was not ready. Here, let's, let me try it again. All right, now I'm ready. Good evening, friends, and welcome to your Friday edition of Drinks, Drinks with, with David's. David's. And this week we've just been pulling it out of thin air. And tonight we're making a drink called a Pink Fetish. It is a variation on Sex and the Beach, which we had during Tiki Week, or I don't know, we had it sometime, who knows? One of those weeks. And it's peach schnapps and some fruit juice and vodka. Very easy drink. You make it in a shaker, but you serve it in a, uh, in a rocks glass, a highball glass. So, you're gonna put some ice in your shaker. And it's um, not all that strong of a drink. You have a uh, an ounce of oh well, a little more than an ounce of vodka. Yeah, well, you need to fill up the glass after That's all. Right. And then you need some peach schnapps, about an ounce of that as well. Woohoo! And we're listening to Pink Martini, one of my favorite groups. How appropriate! How appropriate. Then you're gonna have two ounces of orange juice. One, two. Gotta get those vitamins. That's right. And then you're going to use cranberry juice, two ounces of that. All right, that's going to be good. Good stuff. Okay, then you shake it and start to do this. I'm very excited about tonight's cocktail. I've been thinking about it for the past, positively the past, I don't know, 15 minutes since we picked it. Oh. Then you put ice into your rocks glass. Larry, come on in for the pour. Ready? Let's see how pink this fetish it, is. Oh, well. Ooh, yeah. And then you garnish, you squeeze the lime wedge in. If you were serving it, you would serve it on the side of the glass, but you're supposed to squeeze the lime juice into it. Drop Perfect. it in. And now for the taste. It looks lovely. Holy crap, Bola, that's delicious. Oh, you could just guzzle that down. Oh my gosh. I think we may have to make two of these. That is <laughs> really good. Mm. There's something about that peach schnapps. Most of the schnapps to me taste really kind of like medicine like the peppermint schnapps and the butterscotch schnapps. There's that aftertaste that's kind of medicinal. For some reason, peach schnapps doesn't taste like that. It doesn't taste like eating a French Georgia pe peach picked right off a tree, but it's really good. So friends, have a nice weekend. We'll see you next week with our Thanksgiving themed Drinks with David's. Every evening, we'll, the drink will be based on a side dish most commonly served with Thanksgiving dinner. I just made that up. Who knows what the hell we're going to do. Good night. Bye-bye for now.